Hey, what up everybody? Epic Sun coming in today. Uh, big game for this weekend. Honestly, San Francisco 49ers going against Seattle Seahawks is going to be the game to watch on Sunday for the San Francisco 49ers as well as all the NFL fans across the nation. I think everybody will be looking in on this. This is a huge game for the San Francisco 49ers. I have no way to really put this into words, but I have an idea that it is in my head, and I don't know how I'm going to get it across to you. But honestly, I believe that the San Francisco 49ers seasoned begins and ends with this game against the Seahawks. If the Niners go into this game, and even if they play the best game in the world and they lose this game, honestly, in my mind, I think the season is over for the San Francisco 49ers. Honestly, you, you still have a chance of making the playoffs. It's a pretty damn good shot. But honestly, if you're going to go into the playoffs and you're going to have losses against every playoff team that is in the playoffs this year, Panthers, Saints, Two to the Seahawks. I mean, honestly, magic can happen. But honestly, if you're not as good as these other teams that are in there, let's say you beat one team in the wild card game, then you got to go through and you got to play another tough game in order to, you know, just, just to advance. And then you got to play another great team in the Super Bowl. There's a lot of magic that happens in the playoffs, but I don't think there's any chance in the world, honestly, if, if we can't win this. I mean, honestly, just. I don't, I don't know what the point is to go on to continue. Now, I love my San Francisco 49ers. I'm not giving up on them. I want to win this game. And I truly, I, it scratches my head. I do not understand why this team owns us. But honestly, when you look at on paper, this team whoops our ass continuously when they play us. They have our numbers. When I look at the roster and, it, and you balance it out, honestly, I think these two teams are honestly as well balanced as anything could be. But honestly, last year we got our ass kicked. 24 to 3. Earlier this year, we lost. No, we lost by more than that. Wasn't it 30? No, 36 13 was last year's score. This year was 20, 24 to 3, I believe, was, was when we uh, matched up uh, earlier on in this year. They kicked the shit out of us up there in, in Seattle both times. And now we are going to our home turf in San Francisco. We got to protect the stick. The last time playing this division rival. Uh, before they shut it down, I guess, yeah, there ain't no way in the world we're getting home field advantage unless they just fall off the face of the earth. You look at, I mean, honestly, these teams are as equally well balanced as anything could be. I mean, I, I don't know anybody in the world unless you're just being a homer who's going to pick Russell Wilson over Colin Kaepernick. It's it's a, it's a hard to debate either way you want to go. They have Mershon Lynch. Uh, we have Frank Gore, two great running backs on both sides. The ride receiver course, uh, when you look at them, if, if they could ever get back to, you know, uh, full health, you know, they traded for uh, um, uh, Percy, uh, who came over from the Minnesota Vikings. He hasn't played a snap yet for them because he had the bad hip. Uh, he's supposed to come back last week was the word, and I haven't really heard if he's going to come back this week or not. Maybe, maybe if they have them at full health. Um, I don't even want, it's hard to say. I mean, we have Antoine Bolden, we have Michael Crabtree. Crabtree just came back for the first time last week, cut two balls. He had the 160 yard bomb uh, that he was able to pull down. Both of those guys are impact, you know, guys that can catch the ball. We have, you know, Vernon Davis to help us out on the tight end. You look at the defense, you know, Richard Sherman, honestly, is probably the best corner uh, in all of football. And maybe he's one guy that you put above. But, I mean, the, uh, the, the, the 49ers defense going up against the Seahawks defense, you know, our linebackers against their linebackers. We are equally, ba you know, equally balanced all across the board. But somehow this team is just put together as 49ers stoppers. They are 49ers killers. And we have to pull out. We have to rise above. Uh, you heard the video that my good buddy Alex put up. You know, a lot of times in these videos I come out and I say, ah, oh, it's going to be a good, tough game. It better be a good, tough game because, honestly, if we don't beat this team, you know, like I said, we can, we can make the playoffs. But then once we get there, it's honestly like it, there's playoff football where, you know, maybe, you know, you look at the Seahawks, they're, they're a game that really put them on the board or for the, all of the NFL to really take notice of them is when they beat the Saints in Seattle in that one playoff game. And maybe, you know, if, if that game is played anywhere else that year, uh, you know, they, they don't, uh, you know, come back, you know, maybe Lynch doesn't have a huge run. Uh, you know, they, they said that's the loudest any crowd has ever been in the history of sports or whatever the fuck they like to say about their record up there for you. But, uh, for some reason, the Sacramento Kings own the largest, uh, decibel record. I, I don't know, but I, I heard it was fucking loud up there in Seattle. You can still hear them scream when you put your head up in the outer space. But, um, you know, sometimes I come on in these videos and I say, you know, the Niners are going to crush this team. 
we're a way better team than, you know, Jacksonville or something like that. But, uh, you know, I mean, this is it. This is life or death. Everything has to be on the line right here for you. You can go into the playoffs and say, hey, you know, we were a playoff team in 2013-2014 season. But, I mean, if you don't beat anybody, what the fuck's the point? I mean, all you're really doing is hurting your draft status. You know, we can be a good team. We were supposed to be a great team. There's so many people that, you know, put us down as this is the year the San Francisco 49ers are going to pull ahead. They, You know, one year they went to the NFC Championship game. Last year they went to the Super Bowl. This year they're going to hold the Lombardi Trophy up. They're going to, you know, bring the Niners back to what they used to be back in the glory days. You know, they haven't, they haven't, they haven't won a Super Bowl since 1995. But uh, this is the year that they're going to do it. I mean, they have a well-balanced team. They have the running attack, the passing attack. They have the awesome defense. And, you know, so far at the beginning of the season, you can make so many excuses for this team, saying, you know, they have one of the toughest you know, schedules in the NFL. Uh, the way that we had to open up against Green Bay. Uh, we had to play all those playoff teams. We had to play Houston. We had to play Indianapolis. We had to play, uh, uh, you know, Seattle. Uh, right out of the gate, and, and so on and so forth. But you know what? Everybody in the NFL has to play these games, whether if it's one way or another. You can say that the Seahawks had the easy beginning of the year, but you know every team that the Seahawks play, the Niners play, uh, whether if it's the beginning of the season or the end of the season, it doesn't really matter. And when it comes out, they're going to have a better record than us because they kicked our ass and we lost other games along the way. Um, it is what it is. We're going to have to see what happens. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. I, I can't say that I believe we're going to win, but you know my my you know my heart is going to be on that football field that day as a 49er fan, knowing that uh, if we don't win this game, we have no point of going to the playoffs. And I don't really know how to really bring that across to you, but uh, we're going to have to rise above. It's going to be a, re a red and gold uh, Sunday, and um, see what happens. It's going to be a fun one. Peace out.